Okay, this is all for the moms or maybe even single dads out there that think that having children can restrict you from being a top tier realtor, a top tier investor, to have 20 doors in your portfolio. Having children makes things a little complicated, I'm not gonna lie, but it shouldn't limit you on being uber successful. Here are some tips and tricks. <laughs> when trying to demo with five children, is that like lava? Is that like lava? Don't be afraid to take on big renovations with kids and when you're, you're thank you, your life is never gonna be perfect. You just have to do it. You literally just have to go and do it. So some of the things that may surprise you about me is that I am a wife to a firefighter, which means that my husband is gone half the month. I also homeschool my children. We own 15 rental properties, three Airbnbs that I manage myself, and we close over 100 deals a year in real estate. So how do you do that while having children? The key is be you, bring them along. There are very rare times where if I have my kids or need to bring my kids that I'm not bringing them with me. So first and foremost, shred that whole thought process that you can't be you or you can't have kids in the offer sort or at a, at a buyer's consultation or seeing houses with the buyer or going and looking at a condo that you want to buy. I would actually say just the opposite. You need to include them. They're the next generation. They're probably the reason why you're working your ass off. They need to be there to see it. Build some work ethic. Man, this condo's in pristine condition, huh, Nixon? <laughs> Do you guys know what that is? Mm -hmm. What is it? Mm -hmm. What is it? Mold. Mold? Yeah. So do you think we should offer full list price on this thing? No. No? So we shouldn't offer top dollar, correct? No, we should negotiate on this one? Yeah. Is there money still to be made here? Yes, lots because we're close to a pool. Yes. And a gym. Yes, a which gym. means they are close to what? And Amenities. Amenities. Amenities, buddy. Good job. Kids are absolute sponges, as we all know. If you're an investor and you need to go review a property or look at how much the construction's gonna cost, or if you're a realtor and you have some buyers that you're working with, chances are they know you. They know that you're in real estate. They know that you're a mom or a single dad and that you have kids. Ask them, is it okay if I bring my children along? I think most people will be super surprised on how that is not, not professional. It's realistic. They are attached to you and like you for a certain reason. And if that's because you're a badass mom or a badass dad, good for you. Ask if you can bring your kids. The only thing you're doing is teaching the next generation. And that's honestly applaudable. We're gonna show them how to flip a condo. And then we're gonna go find another condo that we put an offer in last night that we've never seen. That's called what? Buying, what is it? Sight on scene. Sight unseen. buying sight unseen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk about it from the kid's angle. They love being with you. Let's, I mean, they really do. They love being with you. I think sometimes it's us parents that are trying to get away from the madness of being a parent. Let's be real, right? But if you can incorporate them into what you do daily, there will be more appreciation. Whether you're a realtor and you're grinding all week and they need to see that showing six houses is work and that is why we got to buy XYZ, or you're a real estate investor and you've been purchasing property for 10 years, if they're not exposed to the problem solving, to the cops, to the contractors, to plumbing issues, if they're not exposed to that, really, what are we doing it for? I know that I don't wanna just be rich in life. I want to create generational wealth. How am I gonna create generational wealth if I'm not bringing the next generation in to witness it and to learn from it and all the while to make memories even? I hope that, God forbid, something happens to me in a, in a more expeditious time frame than what I'm expecting. My children are already gonna know so much about being a realtor or investing and the portfolio and things like that, that I hope they are going to have a wealth of knowledge to bounce off of and really explode. Take something that I worked so hard for and make it so much more because their education started when they were eight years old. Okay, so obviously, Really? 
So right now, my husband and I actually purchased multiple condos in a condo complex. Him, myself, and a bunch of other investors are in there. We've got contractors in there on top of each other. We are trying to bring the value up in this one condo complex and bring the rents up, et cetera. My kids have been there every single step of the way. I can't imagine a better education than to be eight, nine now, and 10, now 11, and have a wealth of knowledge with contractors and plumbing. They've seen me deal with plumbing issues. This is gonna be such an educational experience and get this. Next up, we're actually gonna purchase a condo for my 11 year old so he can see the return when he's 20, whatever, some on years old. Mom and dad bought it for blank. We did all this construction. We have had it rented. The renter has paid it off and now it is yours to do with what you want. Hello everybody. Today I will be viewing this beautiful condo that my mom and dad bought and all the stuff that used to be here and they then they fixed. Let me show you this bedroom and it's so nice and then you know i gotta go to the bathroom so like oh my gosh i'm not joking we actually are going to purchase a condo for my 11 year old i want him to be there from the very very beginning i want him to open up the door i want him to see all the mold which he already has i want him to know the construction costs I want him to know what it's going to cost us with 25% down as, as an investor each month to pay for and what we can rent it out for. I want him to hold on to that asset and years down the road, he's gonna be able to reevaluate as that renter has paid down the balance of his loan. Does he want to keep this condo in his portfolio or maybe at that time life has taken him another route and now he gets to see the appreciation that has occurred over time. Either way, the real estate lesson is going to be absolutely insane. So mom, we got new floors in. Yep. And we also are putting cabinets over there. Yep, those come in tomorrow on Friday. We're getting rid of that. Yep, that's going. We're giving that away to a... Lady that needs it. And we got some new lights. Now that I'm putting all this money into it, do you think I could rent it for a little bit of money or a lot of money? A lot of money. So that's why we're doing it, okay? Yep. Hands, 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 let's do it! Woo! Look, I am not here trying to make this sound easy. It is not easy. I know I have two boys. They are nine and 11 years old and they are super high energy. If you think I'm high energy, they are high energy. It is not easy going onto a construction site and just trying to get simple measurements and writing down numbers and going through budgets with boys screaming in the background, but it is necessary. They need to be there immersed in the situation. They need to be hot and sweaty and dusty and see all the things you are educating them on a level that nobody is gonna find inside the walls of just a traditional school. That is my honest to goodness opinion. So realize why you're doing this. Realize why we're working so hard, why we're trying to build that portfolio. It is for them. And hopefully one day you're gonna be passing that off to them. You are gonna be the creator of your generational wealth and you need the next generation to be educated so they can take what you have built and make it into something maybe we can't even fathom. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little fun and a little relaxed, but in the end, I just wanna encourage all of you out there that if you're a realtor or real estate investor or what have you, do not shy away from getting dirty and getting in there with your kids. Bring them along for the ride. We all have one life and we really only have a few years with our kids, so make it fun. Out.